Let's now consider how community participation can affect the success of healthcare programs, turning to an example from Uganda. Among economists, there are two quite distinct views as to whether and how much talk affects economic outcomes. Under an older and more hard-nosed view, what really matters is the material incentives at play in any given situation. Talk is quite literally a kind of cheap talk, something people say, but without really changing much in terms of the final equilibrium. It's a more common view today that talk can matter a great deal, because when it comes to social norms, those social norms need to be defined, communicated, and enforced, and talk does all of these things. As it turns out, the study we're looking at will be supporting the view that talk really matters. And this was a study that took place in Uganda. The study involved a randomized control trial. Fifty different communities were studied. The researchers looked at public dispensaries for health care, and those are usually rural. In the communities given the treatment, the goal was to increase community participation in health care services. So that meant facilitating village and staff and council meetings all about what could be done to provide better health care services in these communities. In essence, the goal was to hold meetings and have some talk and over time initiate community-based monitoring of health care services. Ideally, individuals in these communities would all of a sudden become better monitors of when they're getting what they're supposed to be getting. That might sound like a big wasted effort, but it turned out that these treatments are, compared to the control communities, fairly effective. So the empirical results found in the communities receiving the treatment, there was a 33% reduction in under 5 mortality, which is significant. Overall birth weight improves. Waiting time to get care is down. Quite significantly in the dispensaries, absenteeism of workers is down and that's down by 13 percentage points. The healthcare clinics are cleaner, and overall people in these communities are making fewer visits to traditional healers because, it seems, they're now more interested in the healthcare services. It seems that the, that the talk really changed the norms, and the norms, in turn, really changed the healthcare outcomes. Of course, holding all these council and village meetings does have a cost, but the researchers estimate that, given the positive returns to the activity, that it's costing about 300 U.S. dollars to save the life of one child under five. The study under consideration is listed here, and it's called Power to the People, Evidence from a Randomized Field Experiment on Community-Based Monitoring in Uganda. I recommend also that you view our video unit on Eleanor Ostrom, who researched the power of small groups to produce local public goods.